ओके सो टुडे विल कंटिन्यू विद द क्लाइंट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन द पेंडिंग वन लाइक क्लाइंट एक्सपोर्ट एंड इंपोर्ट राइट वी हैव द क्लाइंट कॉपीज वी हैव द थ्री टाइप्स लोकल क्लाइंट कॉपी रिमोट क्लाइंट कॉपी एंड क्लाइंट एक्सपोर्ट एंड इंपोर्ट मेथड्स राइट सो द लास्ट क्लाइंट कॉपी बिफोर वी गो फॉर द लास्ट क्लाइंट कॉपी सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द एस ए पी स्टार्ट एंड स्टाप प्रोसीजर सीआर दिस इज आलो वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इन दि डे टू डे एक्टिविटी हियर समटाइम्स यू मे सी वेन यू आर लॉग इन टू द एस ए पी सिस्टम वेन यू आर लॉग इन टू द एस ए पी सिस्टम यू मे नाट एबल टू लॉग इन सी यू आर नाट रीचड सो यू कैन सी अन एबल टू लॉग इन टू दि एस ए पी सिस्टम ड्यू टू सिस्टम इज नाट अवेलेबल ड्यू टू सिस्टम इज नाट अवेलेबल आर समथिंग इज नाट अवेल राइट सो दट्स वाई यू आर अनेबल टू लॉग इन सो इन केस in case if you are unable to log into the sap system you need to check the sap system status here whether sap is started or not sap is started or not you need to check the status here right so how to check that status here whether sap is status is so is a stopped status or is started status so why we are unable to log in so some kind of issues day to day we may have to look at this stop and start procedures here so sap the stop and dot start procedures here right so procedures here so for this one if it is the windows systems if it is the windows system so you have the mmc sap sap mc sap mmc console management console here you can go to the here open that one you have the right click on the sid right click then you can see stop and start right stop start and restart so you can do it whatever you want here right suppose you can see here open the mmc you see there is a nwd ndb so these are the not started here right so if you want to start it right click on the sid you can start it just start stop restart right so it will start the sap systems here just if you just start it right it will ask the user id and password here so here which sid you are doing here So which sid you are stopping remove the all the text here right you are stopping the nwd then with all the stop and start or os level administration activities we have to do it with the so sid adm adm user here right then the password then password you have to use it here the password we have to use it for stopping stopping here right so stopping and starting we have to use the nwd adm and the stop and start we have to use it here right so i think the password someone changed i guess let me N W D A D M. There is no N W D A D M. Yes. So it say two zero two four. Okay, two zero two four. So that you know common password or common password. So you can use that password. So now right click and just you can start it. Okay, you can start it here. Now it will ask the S A D A D M user here. Right. so then you can type the password or be koi because the stop and start we have to do it with the so sid adm user only so when you are starting the first time so first acs will start first message server nq server will start here right so then once the message server nq server started so then only it will start the so uh, next instance then only it will start the application server instance here see here so this is started then application servers are starting here so while starting while starting the procedure here so first acs will start then only your app servers will start here then only the app servers will start here then only the app servers will start it here first acs then app servers will start it here so okay first app servers will start it here so before that db should be up and running so db then so acs 
then app servers application servers this is the starting procedure here this is the starting procedure of starting procedure of sap systems any sap system so that is the one right the stopping procedure the the stopping procedure of sap systems are like a right first app server reverse order right then ascs instance then the right then db here so this is the stopping procedure of sap systems here right this is the order you have to follow it here so while stopping if you stop without stopping the app servers if you stop the ascs immediately all the application servers will go down so order order is very important here right order is very important here right so see here order is very important see here it started it it started here right so like that if you can start the other systems as well here this is the way we need to stop and start the sap systems this is the way we need to stop the start the sap systems here right so now also this is the way we need to stop and start the sap systems here in case of it is the linux in case of linux systems it's a simple commands so just to switch to switch to switch to sid adm user switch to sid adm user means login with the sid adm user or so directly you can use the stop sap or start sap commands why because when you log into the sid adm automatically the environmental variables are available just execute the stop sap and start sap commands at os level only with sid adm other users it's not possible only with sid adm so you can just use the stop sap start sap commands here so interview point of time sometime they may ask you how will you stop the systems in the linux switch to the sid adm just execute the stop sap sap will be stopped then start sap sap will be stopped here then windows just you can use the so sap mmc then stop and start we can use it here like this also we can use the mmc away because linux systems it's a black screen linux system there is no desktop there is no icons are available here so then you need to use the so just commands at to linux level windows also we can use the commands but anyhow windows we have the access to the operating system level just you can go to the here just to open the mmc sap management console there you can just to do the this kind of work here right stop and starting the procedure but any system either windows or linux system the starting and the stopping procedures are same right so first database then ascs and app servers for stopping we need to follow the order here what order you will follow any person will follow the same order for stopping and starting so other than that other than that we have the so we can use this way commands to stop and start it otherwise we have the sap control commands we have the sap control commands here in the recent versions everything we have to operate with the sap control commands only here maybe s varna systems and those things we have to operate using the sap control command here so this is the way we can we can stop and start the sap systems in the command line through properly properly we can start it here right so so here so here while stopping sap control command sap control command to stop the sap system using the control command here you need to use the either windows or even sap control iphone nr nr means instance number as its instance number so instance number so iphone function iphone function right so instance number iphone function then stop system stop system right so stop system if you use it then the sap system will be stopped here suppose your instance number is suppose example here you can see the instance number is 20 then if you want to stop that start the stop the 20 number then sap control iphon nr then 20 iphon function then stop system then start system sap control iphon nr then 20 iphon function right iphon function then start system here so commands stop system start system commands we have to use it for stopping we have to use the stopping we have to use the so sap control command then starting we have to use the so uh, iphone function start system you have to use it here start system we have to use it here so that sap will be stopped so either you can use the stop sap start sap if the commands are working then you can use it otherwise sap control command also recent versions so we can use the 
so we can we can use it we can wait it it will be stopped here to check the status to check the status whether the processor started or running just you can check the sap control iphone nr so then instance number instance number iphone function iphone function get the process get process list command you have to use it here get so so that it will display the whether all the processes are stopped and so started or it will show the so system here it will show the systems here that is what we have to do that one so so if you want to restart it means stop and start it right so this is only stopping this is only starting suppose if you use the sap control sap control iphone nr then instance number then iphone function then restart system restart system then what will happen sap system will be restarted sap system will be stopped and started that is the restart means stop automatically it will be started here if you stop it it will only stop it if you start it it will only start it but if you restart it it will stop it then immediately it will it will start the systems it will immediately it will start the system here that is what we have to do that one sap systems here right sap systems here this is what suppose if you want to restart the sap start these are the commands very much useful here right so get process list to check the status restart the system starting the system stopping the system then suppose sometimes what you have to do you may have to restart the you may have to restart the your sap start srv process here then in this case so then restart the restart service restart service we have to use it here restart service we have to use it here sometimes we may have to start the so restart the service so re, sorry stop service stop service start service so stop service so r so start service only sap start service only small service here this does not require any restart just only sometimes what happens you may have to restart the sap start srv process restart sap start srv the process restart here that time you have to so follow this command here sap control iphone nr means instance number iphone function so then stop service start service restart service so these commands you have to use it here these commands you have to use it here right so that is the so sometimes what happens sometimes we may we may so multiple srv server service process then in this case we may have to specify the sid sid we have to so sid we have to top it here sometimes if you don't mention the the proper instance number we may have to face the some issues here we may have to face the means sap system it won't be started here sap system it won't be started here so here sap control commands also will help you to starts and stop the sap system from command line here so this command this control command calls the sap start srv process which is responsible for starting and stopping the sap systems or instances and also it will stopping the sap above systems and everything this commands will work either above system or sorry windows or linux these commands will work to stop and start the systems here right so normally in the linux mode we will use the stop sap start sap so then here it is the this command so in the stop sap start sap also if you want to stop only one instance what happen one host you have the acs and application servers we want to stop sometimes you have to stop the sometimes you may have to stop the one application server so then in this case stop sap you want to stop only yes yes then yes yes zero instance number you have to stop it here right sometimes what happens sometimes you may have to so stop sap yes yes if you define anything it will stop it then start sap then if you want to stop the only application server then d instance number d instance number d instance number you have to start it here means only specific one we want to stop entire system then this one you have to use it stop sap start sap i don't want to stop all i want to stop only one instance suppose like if you right click and stop it what will happen all these three will be down i don't want to do that one i want to stop only one then in this case windows very simple right click and stop it it will be stopped it will be stopped 
but what about the line x so then definitely we need to specify the which instance so start sap space then what is the instance number d22 then we have to give the d22 then system will be started here system will be started here so these are the some useful commands so for our so normally stop and start off means administration of the sap systems like uh, stopping starting and restarting these commands will be very helpful here start and stop procedures will be helpful here okay so just to sometimes they may ask you how will you stop the sap systems using the sap control command how many ways using sap control command or sap mmc it is the line x stop sap start sap systems so like that we can start it so sometimes they may ask you how to start the how to only stop the sap start srv process why because normally when we are using the stop sap start sap sap start srv process it won't it won't go down so in this case we have to use the the specific command for stopping and starting the sap systems here right this is about the the stop and starting of the start processes of the sap systems here okay got it so now in any case when you are working in the systems systems are not available that time first you need to check the whether the sap started or not you need to check it out here first of all sap started or not you need to check whether sap is started or not here okay sap started then you will get the sap login thread here so if your sap is not started then you will get you will get the things like sap is not reached is not started here okay so this is the way we need to operate our sap instances right got it any questions anyone any confusion it's clear right now simple multiple ways we can stop and start it here mmc or linux system stop and start or sap control commands we can use it here right okay so okay then let's uh, now sap started 